<laughs> okay, so uh, just decided to do a quick video today. Um, this one's on how to joint up a rabbit because tonight I'll be having a, a rabbit curry out of it, and I just decided that I'd uh, make a video. And those of you who don't know how to, I'd show you how. So, went out ferreting yesterday, um, got half a dozen. This is on a, a new patch that we've got, so brought the rabbits home, gutted them out in the field, and then. Um, skinned them when I got back so first thing I'll show you how to do is take the back legs off these are pretty easy they've got a natural seam going down and around the back of the leg here so if you just take your knife cut around the back of that there flipping back over cut close to the pelvis bone and round to free up some of that meat and then what you can do is grab the leg and then just pop that ball joint out, which is what this is here. And then find where you can get through. And then take away the leg. Try this up here. And then you have one rabbit leg. <coughs> Do the other one. Again, exactly the same seam running down the back here put the ball joint out sometimes it can be a little difficult to uh, find your gap here to get the knife through but if you just keep working the knife and you'll find it the back leg, that's where most of the meat is. Uh, next bit, I'll show you how to take the front legs off. Front legs are very easy as they, they're not connected by any sort of joint. It's literally just muscle that connects it to the actual rib cage itself. Um, so all you've got to do is just cut close into the rib cage really. And do this on camera. See that? There's no ball joint or anything connecting that up. It's very easy to remove. There's not a lot of meat on these you could either. Uh, you can stew them up and eat them yourself or you can just give them to your ferrets, cats, dogs, whatever. Same on the other one. how easy that is to remove next thing is the saddle which will be the nice tender bits along the back here it's a bit more tricky but once you do it a few times then you'll you'll get used to it so what you want to do is start from the top of the rib cage up here and cut as tight as you can to the backbone. This is where it's important to have a very sharp knife when you're doing this this bit. Go all the way down to where the back legs were. Okay, and then where your ball joint was on the back leg, come forward a bit and just cut through that there. So you freed that up, cut on up a bit more, and then what you can do is very carefully just pull the meat away with your fingers. And then once you get up to this point where you get towards the top, get your thumb in there and gently pry out the meat which goes all the way up the top, near enough to where the neck would meet the head. And then that's your nice 
saddle there. See on the other side. Like I said, once you do it a few times, you get used to it. Don't worry if you leave a bit of meat on the bone. This again could go to your ferret. Just chuck the chuck the cocks in there and they'll eat away what they can. Let's get up to the top, get your thumb in. <coughs> Pull that meat out. There's another nice saddle. Then what you got left is the ribs and uh, all the back end really if you want to take the ribs off so it's easier to make a stock out of if you just go to the last rib put your knife in cut up last rib put your knife in cut up now you can cut the meat around the backbone around the spine around the front of the ribs and then what you got to do then is just break it and twist it and then there's no need to get a big knife out to do that um, and then that's it really you can use that lot to make a stock feed your ferrets with oh there's your kidneys I like eating those myself um, if you don't again feed them to your pets but um, yeah it was just a quick video on how to join up a rabbit how to take your saddle out everything like that so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed cheers